And so, Dale, if you could uh, just share how you were introduced to Vox, your initial thoughts, and then just talk a little bit about your experience and what you're noticing in your clinic. Uh, that would be great. You, you bet, Dan. Thanks. Uh, thanks for inviting me on, and, and I'm uh, kind of excited, actually, to talk about it. As a chiropractor, you know, I graduated in 92 from Northwestern there in Bloomington and, um, and practiced uh, pretty much till 2015. Um, so I practiced for uh, up until 2015, and then I really kind of reinvented myself and, and I'm still the CEO of International Health Partners and CEO of International Chiropractic Specialty Clinics in Abu Dhabi and expanding next fall for another clinic overseas there as well. But as a health consultant, I'm always open and, and interested in something like this. And honestly, I thought it was too good to be true. I've worked a lot with complicated cases and as a chiropractor, we're always looking for alternative holistic approaches, natural, drug-free, um, something that patients can empower themselves with. So I was really intrigued when I heard about this product. Initially, I was kind of tangentially, um, just, just in passing in January, now that I think back about it, somebody mentioned something about socks and what it could do, all these crazy things. And she never really did a presentation. She definitely didn't do a presentation, never really explained anything to me. And I just blew it off as, you know, some crazy, you know, some, something that really didn't exist. But then when uh, Jeff and Todd from Guardian Athletics in Mankato mentioned it to me, I really did some digging in the research, and so I spent a, about a month going through the videos and listening to uh, Dr. DeBrinket talk and, and understanding the brain mapping. And even then, it was just hard for me to grasp that it could make that much of an impact. So I had to get some pairs, and, and as a practitioner, I uh, ordered one of the kits, and the first pair went on myself and my family. And that's really when you can see it within your own family and yourself. And Quite honestly, I'm, I'm pretty healthy. Um, you know, I, I, I have ran. I ran like nine marathons, so I, I kind of have this ongoing hamstring issue and a, and a left knee from time to time. And I'm like, well, if it helps that, I'll, I'll really be impressed. Well, of course it did. Uh, but more importantly for me personally, it's really helped my, I, I would say, my patience, my, um, my demeanor a little bit. I get, I'm pretty type A. I go, go, go. Get impatient quite quickly. But since I've had these things on, um, I, I noticed that a lot. And I wish I would have had a, a scan from, from uh, Dr. Mark of my brain prior to probably putting them on because I've, I've had three, three or four, four probably concussions. None of them were ever diagnosed. But looking back at it with um, accidents and things I've been in, traumas. So I'm sure there's uh, a component to that. And that's probably what's helped my frontal part of the brain a little bit as well. And, but from a patient standpoint, you know, I'm really passionate about sports and youth. Not that I'm very athletic. I was a wrestler in high school, couldn't dribble a basketball. So the coach told me I should go talk to the wrestling coach. But the, my daughter's a, a senior in high school and I really like to focus on them. I've, I've helped a lot of the athletes with other things that I do. And this is just another great tool in the tool bag to help the kids. So I haven't heard, I, I've got Box Tech on 16 players on our local basketball team, and they've only played one game, actually two games now. They had one last night um, with, the, with the technology on, and all of them went with socks versus the insoles. And I've talked to six of them, including um, the, the, one of the coaches has got cerebral palsy, so he's in a, actually a wheelchair. And I put the patch on him, and... Um, I heard from his, the, the head coach, um, that he actually noticed some positive changes. Now, he wouldn't go in detail, and I haven't had a chance to talk to, to Kurt, the, the other assistant coach. But from a player standpoint, all the, the six that I have talked to, all of them thought they had more energy, more focus, more stamina out on the court. And a few of them said that they felt like they could jump higher. So it's it's I, I didn't test them yet with the um, vertical leap to see, you know, if I think the average out there, Dan, you can correct me if I'm wrong. If the average is about an inch and a half on, um, on uh, vertical, mm -hmm. which you know, in a basketball, that's pretty huge. So we'll, we'll have to see. Is that correct, Dan? Inch and a half above? 
Yeah, usually an inch. I mean, it can you know, I, I've seen us upwards of two inches, but you know, I've seen below an inch. Usually, an average of at least an inch. Right. For the most that's people. excellent. So the, the team is really looking forward to it, and once we get some more feedback from them, um, I'm I'm sure that the booster club will will see the benefit in all the sports and also from a fundraising standpoint because we live in a small community and we're constantly raising funds for for things that unfortunately the school should be able to provide but they financially just cannot so this is going to be a great great um, advantage for our school to raise some money to help buy better equipment more equipment more training uh, fitness um, weights uh, you name it we've got a whole long list of things we probably need but so that's that's kind of my passion, the youth, but also veterans. And I'm a veteran myself, so I got some of the tech on some of our local vets. So they're elderly for the most part. When we talk about the American Legion, um, unfortunately, a lot of the, the younger veterans haven't joined, even though they're uh, eligible to join the Legion. Uh-huh. And the elderly, though, um, I've noticed right away where – the, when their gait is not correct, the way they walk, their their stability, their balance, um, and they notice it as well. So I think that's kind of my two passions. As a practitioner, you know, you look at the, the back office, and, and even you guys that maybe aren't um, a healthcare provider, it's like, where do you start? Because there's, you know, the athletic, the wellness, the boot, the insoles, the bellas, the bellows. I think if you can keep it simple, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it a lot easier for people. So like with the sports, I've, I've kind of learned that I'm just going to give them the two options. You want black or white? And depending on the sport, they're either going to get a choice of the, um, of the uh, liner or like the um, crew, crew cut. Because if, if you try to say, well, they got all these colors and all these different choices, yeah, I think you have to direct them and lead them a little bit, at least for that initial pair. And then once right. they get understanding the tech, and understanding that it doesn't matter which pair I get, they're all going to be the same. They can get their own uh, through your website or if they're uh, an affiliate through their own website. And same is true with the elderly. Um, most of them, I think, uh, are benefiting from the wellness. And and uh, that's the one I really promote for them because there's no stitches in there. They're not quite as compressive. A lot of the elderly, too, have swelling uh, issues in their in their lower extremities. So I, that's kind of where I'm focusing at. So just another testimonial. That this, if if you want us to share testimonials, no, I'm just happy to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. So so one of the veterans is an 84 year old uh, vet. He's a retired farmer, uh, living in an assisted living place uh, just down the road from here, in southern Minnesota. And he it has multiple injuries throughout his um, farming career, um, let alone. He um, served this country well and had some serious injuries there as well. But he broke his hip about six months ago, and th- there's not a lot that they can do with him because of his um, his age. Um, he needs two new knees as well, but they can't replace him. He can't undergo the surgery. Um, the risk of dying is pretty large. So he's really been uh, suffering. And he... he I've worked with him on some other things in the past and he got a lot better and I was going to gift him a hat because farmers like free hats. And then I said, no, he needs a pair of socks worse than he does a hat. So I uh, talked him into the, 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 the pair of socks and then he, I said, let's, let's get you up out of the wheelchair and see how you can walk behind the walker. And he gets up and you could just see the expression in his face. Like, oh my. he's, he's like almost couldn't believe it. And he gets behind the walker then and he starts walking and walking and he started like letting go of the walker, which he's never been able to do before. And then he starts backing up, which he also wasn't able to do. So it's pretty remarkable. And he started getting emotional and I got emotional because the life changing, uh, it's just unbelievable. Some of the, some of these people that don't think there's a help out there, they're, they're, they really need to be told the stories guys. So I encourage you all to, don't underestimate the technology. It's, it's working. Um, another uh, testimonial I talked today to, uh, to a carpenter, construction worker, that had uh, Achilles tendonitis. And he was going through the medical doctor. They prescribed the best gel cream, supposedly, that is now known to help with tendonitis. That wasn't effective. 
They've really been promoting cortisone shots and he didn't want to do it. So he put the socks on um, and the first day he woke up the next morning. He's like, yeah, I think my, he even told his wife, I think, I think it's better. And he just couldn't believe it. And he thought it was maybe in his head, but after 48 hours, he goes, these dang things are working. So that's kind of uh, it, the results we're going to get. I think are going to be all over the board, kind of depending upon which part of their nervous system is affected, which one is affected the worst. And I, I, Firmly believe that the longer we have that tech on, the longer, the better the results are going to come and come because the body has the amazing ability to heal itself. It just doesn't need the interference. And if we can get that brain to get the chaos and get into homeostasis, um, we're, we're going to see some unbelievable results. I've only had mine on for two and a half, three weeks now. And some of you guys maybe have been in here for a year or two or three years. Well, not even three, two years you've probably seen continuous cumulative effects of these. And I'm really looking forward to two years from now what these things are doing.